Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to Garnet Tools. Recently, I searched high and low to find the best bit ratchet. So here's where I landed. Facum, yes, the French-based manufacturer under the ownership of Stanley Black & Decker, who also formerly owned SK Tools. Once you get past the surprisingly well-made plastic case, you're met with the most functional bit ratchet I've yet to lay my eyes on. Dubbed the R1 Pico, it's a set that includes one extension, one quarter inch socket driver, 15 bits, including security torques 10 through 30, hex 3, 4, 5, and 6, Phillips 1 and 2, three slotted driver sizes, a posi drive 2, five sockets, of which the sizes are clearly marked in the case, and this reversible flex head bit ratchet. The ratchet, model R.180T, has a chrome, satin, or semi-gloss finish to it that differs greatly from the included sockets in the set. It's fully locking, offering 13 different positions with a range of 180 degrees. The top portion is knurled for easy thumb ratcheting and has a 62 gear. If it looks familiar to you at all, that's because the Mac Tools MRBD4F is pretty much the same thing. So while this is by and large the same as its Mac Tools counterpart, there's something that sets it apart. If you notice here, the extension is hexed a little over half of its length with hashes that can be seen on the end of it. The ratchet also has a white dot. The hashes and the white dot can be lined up, turning the entire tool into a T-handle because it has an additional quarter inch receiver in the bottom of the handle. This gives you flexibility as you can use two separate attachments on the same tool. And with its solid locking detents, it allows you to have two different lengths of extension. But if you don't want it to push through, just remove the extension and turn it to any other position. Speaking of the detent, it's strong enough that it won't allow this adapter to be easily removed when a socket is pulled off of it. Which I think is due in part to the detent ball being inserted off center of the square drive. In testing, the T-handle offers a pretty decent way of quickly turning your fastener. And using the extension to make a longer ratchet gives you that extra leverage should you need it. But don't go too far because who knows how the connection point will actually hold up. And while this is a foreign product not even meant for America, you don't have to worry because all your standard quarter inch bits will still fit into the ratchet. With all that said, I really love this set. It's just too versatile to count out. It comes with a good variety of tools with every bit being held in place by the same hard rubber featured on top and bottom of the plastic case. And it's super compact. So compact that it fits easily in your work pants pocket. So while this might not be the best bit ratchet set, it's a pretty compact set that includes a lot of the common tools I would use out in the field, and I feel it will really come in handy to have. I love the functionality and how it all comes together in a really convenient package. Even though they are under a Stanley banner, Falcom is a great company with an outstanding reputation. With all that said, there's just a few things I forgot to mention. While I'm not too sure about the bits, I'm pretty sure the sockets, the ratchet, and the extension are all made in Taiwan. So if that bothers you, I guess this is not the set for you. But understand, Taiwan is not China, and a lot of Taiwanese offerings are gaining popularity in the States. The other thing I didn't mention is that the lowest price I was able to find it for, yes, this little, little itty bitty kit, was $85 from an eBay seller in the UK called Tool Academy. Falcom also offers many other tools and kits like this, so if you're at all interested, I'll leave all the links I could find along with their warranty statement in the description. So check it out if you're interested. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos, and thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you're still here, consider checking out some of my other reviews of quality hand tools.